Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back. Today we're going to be learning how to solve the skew. Let's get started. Okay, so we probably put the camera around so you can actually see it from a better perspective. Now, this is a very difficult cube. So at first, when you first look at it, it's weird. It has the four shapes. It turns like this for some reason. It's the, the center is different. There's no edge pieces. It's a regular three by three. Looks like a disturbingly weird two by two. But it's really not. It's actually very, very simple. I'm going to show you step by step how to solve this cube. And it only requires one algorithm, which is the best thing about this cube. It doesn't require you to learn much. Now, the first step is... So, I'm going to scramble this. Now, there's no advanced methods. So, at one point in my last video, his name is Boss Soon. He commented on my 2x2 two two video saying... That, what about Otega method for the 2x2? Well, I actually don't know Otega method. And I can't make videos longer than 15 minutes for some YouTube bullshit reason. So that's why I didn't cover more advanced math methods. That's why I didn't 2 by 3 by 3 So, got the cube. It's all scrambled up and it's all a pain. Now, first thing you have to do is same thing as the 2 by 2 or the 3 by 3 or whatever. Is we have to solve this white side. Making sure that these two colors match. So, if I do this. That's one done. And then if I say if I just do some shit for a second. Mm-hmm. I haven't done this for ages, so I kinda suck. Um There we go. If I do this, it's right because these two match, but these two corner pieces I think it's actually called edge pieces, but these corner edge pieces don't match. I'm just gonna call them corner pieces. So they don't match, but these do. So you can have to take one out and put the next in. Mm hmm. Hmm. And then. So now these two are right, and these two are right because they're solved here and they're matched up here. Now, when you first. So these two are right, sorry, because these are matched, and then um these are matched, but this is wrong. Now, it's really difficult to, I guess, um, figure it out with. How the turning works. I recommend you play with this cube for a couple of minutes beforehand. That way you are uh, you kind of understand how it works. Cause it's a very odd process and it's really weird turning it. I remember when I first was using this cube. I was playing it for, for ages. I was like, um What? How do I flip this? That maybe? No, it's wrong. Uh I was kind of like, what, how does this work? So, um, it'll take a while. But once you get all four of them done, we're up to step two, which is solving, we have to solve this layer. Now, these center pieces, we're going to solve later. So, later. So, we're just going to leave later. We're working on this layer right now. Okay. So, first one, one thing I want to do is match up the edges. Okay. Now, you might be thinking, is there an algorithm to this I have to learn? But we haven't even gone for notation yet, which is the, the, how the algorithms read. This cube requires no algorithms. So that's really, really cool. Uh, I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see this at a better angle. Okay. Now, the first thing you want to do, it, it's one simple algorithm. Now, if you have one, now you can just do it a few times. This is the algorithm. You move this down, this down. This up and then this up. I'll repeat it. It's this, 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 and then this. So it's just down, down, up, up. Okay, so down, down, up, up, up. It's a pretty quick algorithm to do as well. I can do it pretty quickly. But in basic scenario, it's just this. Down, down, up, up. There we go. That's the only algorithm you have to use for this entire cube. Now, first thing you're going to look around and see is that you're going to have to be, look around a little bit. And you're going to find that I have, if you have one edge piece like facing towards you and the other bit piece, edge piece facing to the right, you have the easiest scenario. Just do the algorithm like this. One, two, three, four, and bang, you've already solved the second layer. Was that easy? You only have to do that down, down, 
up, up algorithm. Let's undo it. So you only have to do that down, down, up, up. So right down, left down, right up, left up. That's how you memorize it. Right down, left down. No, sorry. Yeah, right down, left down, left up, right up. So no, sorry. So I, I think this is wrong. So it's right down, left down, right up, right up. That's all you need to know for this entire cube. How easy is that? Can it get any easier? There is the one by one, but other than that, I don't think it does. So you've solved this layer. Um, there's one more scenario I want to go through with you guys before we pack up. So the next scenario you're going to have is these two edges are going to be solved. Okay, these are solved. And... Now these act what's really cool with this ed this this cute is that the pieces automatically um go where they need to be. They never salt in the wrong position like in the two by two, three by three. They always automatically shift where they need to be. So you don't have to do any of those move the edges around algorithms, which are a pain in the ass. Um So the next scenario is these two are solved, and if the clue is facing towards you, you're gonna have the right edge. Facing towards you and this facing up. If this is the case, there is one, all you have to do is do that algorithm we said before. I'm gonna call it the right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. And then you go straight to the second thing. Then you go straight to the first that pa thing that pattern that could happen, which is this one. Then you do the algorithm one more time to solve the to solve that layout. So that's Step number dos. Done. That is super easy. Doesn't get any easier than that. It, it, it does. Does it? The pyramid is not, doesn't it? So, now we have these pieces solved. The next, the third step, and the second last step, which is really cool, is we have to somehow move this up without effing everything up. So, if we just want this, yay, we're done. You screwed everything else up. You're wrong. So, all you have to do is the exact same algorithm. Again and again. So this is a really repetitive cube to solve. It's why no one likes it. But uh, it is an official Rubik's Cube, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so this one is pretty simple. It's put this edge. You want this edge to be at the back. So you want this, not, not the edge, this centerpiece. I think it's actually called an edge or whatever. This centerpiece to be at the back of the cube, not at the front. Then do the algorithm once. Turn it around. And do the algorithm once more. That's literally it. For the solve, I'll do it one more time to show you guys. So, let me just do this. Let me just screw it up first. Oh, wait, what? I saw two. I saw five. Oh, I saw the one by accident. Okay, so this goes at the back. And then you do the down. You do the down. I call it the, um, the right, left, right, left. Or you can call it whatever you want. So, the, we, can, we have to do the right, left, right. We have to do that special algorithm once. So down, down, up, up. Turn the cube around and then do it again. Boom. We're done. Is that awesome? You're already done the third step and the second last. I'm gonna go over it one more time. You put, so let me just undo this. You put this piece at the back and then you do the algorithm once. Turn the cube around, do it again. There you go, we're done. Now, this sex step, will you will have three of these pieces wrong. This is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. Now, go to the piece where the colors are opposite. So, for example, now, if you know the Rubik's Cube very well, you know that yellow is opposite to white, green is opposite to blue, and red is opposite to orange. So, go to the, go to the center piece that's opposite, that's the opposite color of these pieces. So red orange is opposite of red. Go to that first, and then we have to do the same boring algorithm. Turn it on the side, this below, and do it do it once, twice, once, twice. And you're gonna end up the same thing again, so I think I did it wrong. Sorry, it's once, once. There we go, we're done. So Now that two time motion actually flips these two pieces, the three pieces around. So find the find the opposite colored piece, do the algorithm once, turn the cube 180 degrees to the algorithm one more time. And your new cube 
or shitty skewed is salt. But there is one more thing that can happen. The final and pain in the ass thing that can happen to you is if, let's say, I think it's pretty, it's a kind of a dick if this happens to you. It's really hard to happen. The, another thing that can happen to you is that, um, so all the, all of these pieces are going to be incorrect. I, I don't have that. I didn't try to get that. So you're going to have all the pieces are incorrect. Find one of those pieces and do that same thing again. So what you have to do is do the down, 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 and then do this again. And then you're going to be back to the same thing you had before, in which case you can find the opposite color and do it one more time. So that's it for our tutorial on how to solve the cube. Super simple out, super simple, um, super simple Rubik's Cube. It's really easy. It actually doesn't get any easier than that. And the fact that this cube, this, there might be an advanced method to it, but as far as I know, there actually isn't. So you can use an algorithm, only the one algorithm, it's not an algorithm, and again and again to yield the same results. So if you like this video, guys, leave a like, um, leave a like down below and comment on the video saying what you want me to improve on in my next tutorials and Rubik's Cubes what you want me to do more of or etc and in and give me some good feedback i like the art positive feedback for as well um and then subscribe to the channel for more cubing content i specialize in gaming but i do like cubing i want to do a bit of that as well if you guys subscribe to the channel and subscribe to the channel and like the video it shows that you guys want me to do more of these really simple tutorials that are really short and really fun that's all i ask for you or at least share the video with your friend that'd be pretty cool too anyways Thanks very much for watching this video and I'll see you all later. Bye!